And as families get ready to send their kids back to school this week, there are some children who will be forced to stay home, denied a public education because of their immigration status. Angela McKenzie explains. It's back to school time for most kids in Quebec. As classrooms and playgrounds fill up with children, hundreds could be left out. Sarah, who wishes to remain anonymous, is a mother of three. She brought her family to Canada from Algeria three years ago. While she waited for her landed immigrant status to come through, her kids had to stay home. Mes enfants n'ont jamais été acceptés à l'école parce que. Um... I was told I'd have to pay close to $20,000, which I didn't have, she says. Her paperwork eventually came through and her children were enrolled. But education across borders says Sarah isn't alone. Some people have been here for three, four, five years and for one reason or another they have a visitor's visa temporarily maybe or they have a series of visitor's visas while they're waiting to get another status. But it doesn't give them access to free schooling. Others fall through the cracks when they are undocumented and have no status at all. There's the estimates run from a few hundred to a few thousand more or less children who are just not in school at all. It can cost these families five and a half to seven thousand dollars to send each child to a public school. The right to education is something that tends to be guaranteed in most countries. There's almost nowhere in Europe, uh, in the States, also where kids can't access school regardless of their immigration status. The proposed Bill 86 would have addressed the issue, but it ended up being dropped in the spring. Education Across Borders wants new legislation to be drafted this fall. Hopefully this will be the year when it gets solved and for all kids and not just for some of them and not for others. A spokesperson for Quebec's education minister told CTV that as far as they know, the most current problematic cases have been dealt with, although she declined to elaborate further. She says they plan to hold public consultations on Quebec education in the fall. Angela McKenzie, CTV News.